welcome back to another video, and today we have the Team of the Year voting. So, I will be voting for my Team of the Year. So, I'll be voting based on players I want to win, who I think deserve it, and I will not be biased. So, let's start this and get straight into it. So, we have goalkeepers first. So, there's Allison, Courtois, Ederson, Kradecki, Mandanda, Navas, and Neuer. So, I would vote for Allison, but he, he, I think he wasn't the best keeper this year. He's probably second best. I'd say Manuel Neuer deserves this one, and I'm going to vote him. Put it right in that goalkeeper spot. Because he deserves it. Next, right back. It has to be. There's no other be better right back in the world. It's going to be Trent. And then, left back. It's a debate between Alfonso Davis and Andy Robertson. Wherever he is, he is right here. But I have to do it. And Alfonso Davis does really deserve it. He's He's been a breakout player at the age of 19, I believe. He's really been very good at left back for Bayern Munich, so let's put him in there. Alphonse Davis gets the left back position. Now our two center backs, Sergio Ramos definitely deserves it. I don't like him that much, but he definitely deserves it. And now, here's a controversial one. Well, maybe not too controversial, but Virgil van Dijk, Marquinhos, Thiago Silva. Yeah, and those are the players who could earn the final spot in the team of the year um, defense. And I'm going to put Virgil van Dijk. Even though he has been injured just part of this season, I think he's been he's essential part of Liverpool winning the Premier League, and he's been sensational for Liverpool. And he's just very amazing. Thiago Silva has been good, but I don't think Marquinhos or Thiago Silva have been as good as Virgil van Dijk, so he earns our final spot in the defense. Now on to midfielders. Oh well, this one is going to be a hard pick because there are some pretty good midfielders. So this is going to be hard. So the first midfielder has to be Joshua Kimmich. Hundred percent deserves it. It's been amazing for Bayern Munich. So he goes into center defensive mid. Next, we have three candidates, I'd say. Actually, four who could be in the midfield. Bruno Fernandes, Kevin De Bruyne, Jordan Henderson, and where is he? Thiago Alcantara. So I only have to, I can only choose two. So I'm going to eliminate one of them. Jordan Henderson. I'm going to eliminate him. I love Jordan Henderson so much. He's amazing for Liverpool. And uh, he's amazing, yeah. But I don't think he was good enough to deserve a team of the year. Actually, he was amazing this season. But realistically, actually, would he be good enough to deserve a team of the year? Just think about that. So, we're not going to select him. I think he could be a team of the year nominee. But I wouldn't put him in my team of the year. So, I have to do it. Thiago, he's going to go into the team of the year. For me, at least. Because he has been amazing for Bayern Munich. And he's been injured for Liverpool so far. So far but in his first game for Liverpool, he, he beat a record for most passes, I'm pretty sure. In a certain amount of time. I'm not sure. But Thiago helped Bayern Munich win the Champions League. And maybe will help Liverpool reach another Premier League title. So we're going to put him in there. He definitely deserves it. Now, it's between Bruno Fernandes or Kevin De Bruyne. I hate Man United. Like, I, I really don't like them. And I don't particularly like Man City either. But the thing is, who deserves it? Bruno Fernandes has been very influential on Manchester United and has really helped them get like better but De Bruyne is amazing he's just a very smart player Bruno Fernandez just scores penalties that's why he's called Fernandez but he's not only that he's really helped Man United so uh, I'm not sure uh who should we put 
Well, you can vote in the comments who you think I you should put. Who should I put? Oh, jeez. Ah. Uh. No. Kevin De Bruyne, you've earned your spot. Just barely edged, just edged over Bruno Fernandez. I, I just refuse to put a Manchester United player, even though Fernandez might deserve it, but doesn't do it for me. No. So now on to attackers. Now we have Andre Silva, who's oddly there. Ben Yedder, no, thank you. I would not want a Ben Yedder Team of the Year card. Benzema, oh my goodness. He could be a good choice. So, who are the options here? Jao Felix, what? How is he there? So, let's look through the list. Jamie Vardy, no. Suarez, no. Heem Sterling, no. Salah, maybe. Neymar, maybe. Messi, maybe. Bappe, maybe. Ma Mane, maybe. Lukaku has been amazing. Really good, but no. Uh, well, we have to. Okay, let's put him there. He, Lewandowski has been the best player in the world and would get the Ballon d'Or if it was not cancelled. Now, the final two spots. Who should get in? So, let's look through. Cristiano Ronaldo. Messi. Ah, uh, this is a hard one. I'm going to put Messi. Has really helped Barcelona. I bet if Barcelona did not have Messi, they would have been a lot worse last season. They were already not that great, but Messi actually helped them a lot, and he's 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 just very good for Barcelona. And for me, best player in the world at the moment. Well, not at the moment, but one of the best players of all time. Now, who earns the final space in the um, team of the year eleven? So. This is a hard one. I'm debating between two people, and those people are Cristiano Ronaldo and Neymar Jr. So, Neymar helped them get to the final, and he won Ligue 1, won the French Cup, won basically everything with PSG, but it is a pretty easy league. Cristiano Ronaldo scored a lot of goals. Actually, Benzema, maybe. Should Benzema get in there? Huh. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I have to. Cristiano Ronaldo earns the final spot in our Team of the Year 11. So, we're going to put, I agree. And, uh, how do you submit this? Submit vote. There it is. And that is the 11 right there. And we have voted. And that is my 11 right there. Um, Do you agree? Write in the comments if you agree with this Team of the Year 11. If you do not, tell me. And what should I change? And guys, thank you so much for watching. And see you next time. Goodbye.